Hello and welcome. It's Jilly here doing another pour today. I'm kind of going back to basics and doing a flip cup. This is probably a nice easy pour for somebody that's just starting out and want, I think it was kind of one of the first techniques that I started with. So I'm going to do a four cup flip and um, see how I go from there. So I will layer my cups and I'm going to start with white. Usually the first colour you put in is obviously going to be the last colour that comes out. So if it's white, this is just my normal paint mix. So that's white and this is dark sea. I'm using up the last of the colours that I mixed for my um, my paint week. I usually try and mix up a whole load of paints and then um, keep changing the colours and combining colours and work through different uh, colour coordinates all week uh, when I'm painting. So these are the last of them. This is called Pear. This is a beautiful colour and it does look lovely with the dark sea. So use the pear and I'm going to go in with a, I think it's the cool, I always forget. Uh, the, the very bright one is called warm red. So that's a warm red. I don't think I've done a, a flip cup, big, you know, whole canvas on a flip cup like this. This is a 40, by 50 canvas so it's a nice size canvas and I will go in then with this very pale colour called palest palest peach again I have it have it pre-mixed up I've had it mixed up and they've all been covered with a, a damp cloth for a whole the whole few days or I think I guess I think I've these have been mixed up a week, so they definitely last as long as you've got them covered up. Then I'm going to go in with the warm, what did I say? This is the opposite. This is a nice bright red. Well, this might be cadminium, cadminium red. I can never say it, even if you tell me. Cadminium, cadmium, cadmium red. I've got a little bit of really bright yellow, little tiny bit, so I might just do every second one of yellow. So that's emptied that container. Rightio. I might just add. This is a very dark black cherry. So I'm going to put some of that in there too. Why not? And then I will go back to that pear colour, which is only really going to do that one. So that's absolutely fine. I will scrape out my cups and um, re-wash them all. This is the palest peach. So it's just loading up your cups with your colours. Now, the, there's an artist called David, but his YouTube channel is called um, Left Brain Artist. I will try and put a link. I will put a link in the um, first comment. He does a really good video on um, paint density and layering your cups. And there is a you know technical way that works out better. And he has whether you load o opaque and... What's the other word? I can't think of it now. Oh, opaque and transparent. I could not think of that. Paint. So I'll try and link David's um, link to his channel. He has got so many excellent videos as the science into different things uh, to do with the pour, the actual science of it. Um, 
So it's very, very interesting when you get into your acrylic pour, pouring, that it's very interesting to learn different things about how the paint reacts. And he's done all sorts of uh, trials on uh, pouring mediums and pouring mediums using glue, pouring mediums using Floetrol and so yeah, it's a very informative channel. So even as a um, artist that's worked for a long time with the acrylics, it's still very interesting to watch somebody that actually takes the time to teach people the si more so the science as well of the um, technique of the paints. Rightio, just might put a bit more white in these on the top. So he's yeah goes through a video of, of layering with opaque and transparent and where they should be. Okie doke, so I've got my four cups all ready to go. I'll probably best put them to the side so I can not tip them over while I'm doing this. So I'm just going to flip them. So it's as quick as that. None of these colours have actually got any um, silicone in. They've all got Floetrol in, but no silicone. Look at that. I might pour some of this white that I've got mixed here in between each one so it make it easier to flow and give a little bit of separation I guess between each colour, each flip cup. Look at those cells already. Wow, that's basically just because of flow troll in there. So if you don't want to use silicone Flow trolley is a really good alternative for giving cells. If you want cells, that is. Some people don't want them. So that's a flip. I might go the other way for this one. And lip. Look at those. Wow, look at those cells. I'll just leave my cups there so if I need any paint over the very edges, I have some left in my cups a little bit. So yeah, been a while since I did this. Lovely, I'll just go over quickly with my uh, heat wand. dragging the cups out from left to right, da up and down, the different, how get the different colours. Maybe I layered more white in that, I'm not sure. I'd have to look back and see what I did. So just gently give it a tilt. It's got some yummy colours in there. Probably if I was making up my paints just for a flip cup, I would probably definitely make the paints up on the thicker side because you get more defined, I think. So just tilt it. More defined um, structure in your whole paints if they're a little bit thicker, I find. So see this is very fluid. Very, very. So just tilt it gently, take your time, don't get nervous about it, it's only paint. Just keep recentering it so you haven't got all your paint hogging one area. Oh look at this, it's definitely like a um, snake or a snake skin or something. Not that people even like the word snake so have to be careful. Tilt it over your edges and take it back. Mm. 
yeah it has been a long time since I did one just a flip cups so it's quite nice and relaxing for me to do this I like it re-center it taking it back down to take it over the back in the center again bring it all back come on down Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. It has been a while. And I say I have missed it. Now I see it. Now that's absolutely gorgeous as it is. That's beautiful. Oh, goodness me. I do want to put my heat gun over it, but the heat gun will actually bring up, pop all the cells up. So I just quickly put my heat gun over it to burst any air bubbles. But it will bring cells, so if you don't want too many cells, don't worry about the heat gun. Definitely, um, yeah, if I really spent time with the heat gun, it, it'll make all those cells pop up. But that's actually quite beautiful. I love it. Oh, look at the, it has got so much detail in there. I think that's gorgeous, and it's been a long time. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Hope that you guys love it too. And um, there you go, a nice easy flip cup that if you're a beginner, you will get a really lovely looking piece of art. And um, I'm sure it will give you a bit more confidence if you're a beginner. So until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care of yourself. If you don't take care of your own self, you're no good to anyone else. So if you're feeling sad, lonely, upset, please ring a friend or a family member, or a helpline. There is always someone there for you. Take care. Until tomorrow, my lovelies, bye for now.